Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. Now, in this video right here, I'm going to show you some troubleshooting tips that you can try when your level or your island is getting rejected by the approver for the Fortnite Island creator. Uh, first things first, obviously, is getting rid of any failed things in your UEFN level or Fortnite Creative 2.0 level. So right now, UEFN is really strict as far as what you can take into UEFN. First thing I usually do is I have the UEFN open and I have a Fortnite open. And whenever I'm ready to actually publish the level, I'll go to project and upload to private version. So I'll get that done. I'll save everything. Now what this is going to do is upload your level and then give you a private island code. All right, so we have our island code 1629. I'm just gonna say done right now. And this page right here is one of the most important part. You have to make sure that you have no failed right here. You can have warnings just like this one right here, but you cannot absolutely have anything red here. That's the first thing you got to do. If it finds something wrong in your level, that whole entire project is corrupt. That's why I have to back everything up. Everything I'm, every time I'm making progress in here, I'm copying and pasting a new version because once you import something that's not allowed in your project, that's it for that project as far as my experience goes. So just be very careful. Whenever you're doing big changes, save a copy of that project, okay? So right here, we have nothing failing, so we are good to go. So I will close this right now, and I'm gonna go to my level. What this is going to do is actually start the game. So I'm just going to wait until that's done. Okay, so our game started, and I will just end the game, because I don't really need to play the game, because I already tested it and everything. It should be good. I won again. This game is way too freaking easy. So here we go. And I'm going to go back to UUFN. This is going to say stopping game. So just don't touch anything and wait for it to stop. All right. So that's done. And this should bring us back to edit mode, which is good. Next, we will launch a memory calculation. If I go right here, it's going to happen really quick because my level is slow. I'll continue. So that's good. Project is within budget. So that's another thing that you should check. Make sure you're not going over 100. Additionally, your project size right here, 400 megabytes is your maximum download size. So again, I try to stay below that limit. So once that's done, I'm going to go now to publish project. And it's going to tell you you need to launch memory calculation. We already did that. I'll just say continue and then save selected. And once again, it's going to stage everything, upload everything similar to whenever you upload the project. So again, I'm just going to sit here and wait. Two, one. All right. So again, I'm going to select and I will just end the game because I just need to go back to my UEFN. And you're going to see that this is now actually publishing my project to the creator website. So... Once again, I'm going to wait. All right, so now what I'm going to do is go to my created Fortnite. This is my project, and I am in the private version. So you can see right here at 12.29 p.m., we just published one or uploaded it, all right? So you can see a new private version is created whenever you click Publish Island in Fortnite Creative or Publish Project in UEFN. Now, this is so important. So as you can see right here, we have a green status. Everything is good. We're under the limit. I'm going to go publish here and type in whatever information I have and then submit. Now, whenever you press submit, it will now go to the public releases. Either it's going to get approved right here, as you can see, or it's going to fail. And again, as of right now, whenever it fails, so you can see where I'm going to click right here, it doesn't really tell you much. So with that being said, if you just keep going to UEFN and keep publishing, and publishing and publishing you are going to run in a failure every time all right it's going to generate the same exact private code and it's not going to work this back to back right here that's what happened so what you actually need to do is go to uefn move something just change it and then start all over again what this is going to do is create you a new private code once that's done do the same exact process, publish it again, and see if it works. As you can see right here, for this one, it failed. I just retried to publish it again. It failed, and I changed a couple of things, saved it. I didn't remove anything. I just moved some things around in the map, saved it, uploaded it, launched memory calculations, and then published it, and it worked. 
All right, so that's what you need to do. Just go back to your level, move something around, save it so you can generate a new code, and it should work. At least for me, it works. At the end of the day, you just have to keep trying because again, I think whatever is approving the levels, if it doesn't like something in your level, it might disapprove it right away, especially for music. Even though we're allowed to have non-copyrighted music in here, sometimes by you uploading music in there, it's automatically going to deny it. So with that being said, I hope this works for you all because it's working for me. If y'all have any other questions, let me know. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.